So when it has been pressed, the first thing it's going to do, well, that's going to be the last thing. The last thing it's going to do uh, will be um, setting the other button to true. And the first thing it's going to do, uh, it's going to find the latest version. And for that, I'm going to follow a tutorial I've got saved here. Seven free website for auto updating. And the only thing is that um, the website's not going to be free. I've got my own private server, so I'm going to be using that. Um, but if you decide to make your own script, you can follow this tutorial here and set up your free script to your free website. Sorry. And so I'll be using my FTP client to upload the documents needed. And just let me uh, connect. I hope no one hacks me. So that was a script I made long ago in 2009, um, September 2009, I believe. You know, in fact, it was August 2009. Anyway, uh, that's my scripts folder. And let me upload the latest script to this folder. Well, in fact, I'm not going to do that just yet. On your computer in a location you can remember. So my documents a location I remember all the time. Your script version. Leave the version the way it is. Well, let's suppose that the fact that it's capital letter matters, and I'll say I a minor version dot txt. Okay, there we go. I'll delete the txt. Type the latest version of your script. Let's see what's the latest version. I don't even have a script manifest, so let me add that first. The script manifest will basically just uh, allow our smart to select your script and define some of the properties of your script, such as the name, author, uh, category, version, and description. So, authors. Oops, forgot the. Let me add the bracket. And let me import script manifest. Category is mining. Um, what else? Name is. I I am miner. Version is zero point zero one. In fact, zero point zero two. And description is none. In fact, in the GUI. So there we go. And let me go back to this. On the latest version, let's say it's 0 0.02. So that's seemingly the only thing we have to add. I'll save this. And now I'll upload this version file there. Let me add these to my imports. I don't usually like just copying and pasting, but I don't know if there's any other way to do that. And just I'll copy and paste this too. So this is my my thread. Uh, sleep, let's say, for 
In fact, it's only gonna run once, so this is unnecessary. So that's that, and then I have to create a new thread to which is gonna be load info. Damn, I am pretty This is what this is gonna do. So the button is going to do the thing I was about to do in my other And uh, minor. Just let me delete all the logs. Okay, so there we go. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to change this. In fact. Okay, there we go. No, it won't let me do that, so I'll just have to say that. to overlaid of course um, if you want to learn about buffer readers and uh, all that stuff the new Boston has some nice tutorials on that and if not uh, by reading this then you should be able to more or less understand it buffer reader basically is used to read um, uh, bytes Oh, well, I'm not gonna get into explaining that basically. It's complicated stuff which I don't really understand or uh, care about basically. So, um, we've got the GUI implemented. Basically, what we're gonna do is delete this button. And delete this stuff. 
and then regenerate. So that's that. I also have to re-import this. 